still working here on the uh, fly cutter that I'm making a extra large fly cutter and I uh, kinda had a I guess a bozo on it I finished the shaft down to three quarters of an inch and I went to chuck it up and ended up putting some some marks back in it so to avoid doing that again I've uh, I've made some of the some copper jaws for the uh, four jaw chuck now I'm just a hobby machinist and a lot of folks have their ways of dialing in a four jaw chuck and I've got this in there this way out I could get it in a lot closer just by eyeballing it but I wanted to go ahead and show my method of, of doing it it's just kind of a combination of everybody else's first thing I do is get a center and shove it over as close as I can to it try to dial it in as close as I can to that center Always use two chuck keys. Already we're pretty darn close. Definitely close enough to start using the indicator. So I've already got the indicator set up. I'm gonna bring it on in here. Get a preload on the indicator here. Let's see where are we at here. See if you can see it. Looks like we're about 43 thousandths. So we're going to go down to 22 and a half. Once I get to 22 and a half, then I'm just going to simply dial it back to zero. Once I'm at zero, take my two chuck keys, I'll roll it down to the next to the next point and I'll bring it back to zero roll it over to the next one bring it back to zero roll it to the next one Bring it to zero. Roll it to the next one. Bring it to zero. Next one. 
bring it to zero. At this point, I usually zero it off again. Start the process over and see where we at. Looks like I'm two and a half thousandths. So I'm going to go two and a half thousandths. I'm going to bring it back just about one thousandths. Throw it off, bring it down, bring it down to the next one, Let's see what that looks like. Bring it down to the next one. Alright, that's the one I'm looking for. I want to bring it to where I can tighten this one up to bring it back to zero. Bring it to this one, bring it back to zero. If not, you're reaching all the way behind the darn chuck trying to zero it up. So. Alright, that looks pretty good right there. Alright, that looks like we're within tenths. And we'll just take it off the preload. I'm going to load it up pretty good here, go all the way around. Alright, just for the heck of it, I'm going to stop it and load up a more accurate uh, indicator here. Alright, so I've hooked up this Minitoyo Digital uh, that I just got from Royce on the Facebook page. Which is a very good deal. Very nice guy to deal with. Come well packaged. I don't know much about this indicator, but I do know it reads to the uh, to the tenth. Got it zeroed out there. Get on the side of the camera here. Alright, there's eight eight tenths. So it looks like that method gets us, like I said, within tenths, and that's it's a pretty fast way to indicate it, considering I had it so far out. And, uh, at any rate, that's my cobble together technique from everybody's, from me watching everybody else's technique uh, for dialing in a four jaw. So here we go. I'm going to fix this mistake I made on this uh, scarring up the this fly cutter tail here. Here we go. You sure he's there, huh dog? Get him Zeke. Get him. Where's he at? Where's that mole? There? Huh? You sure? <laughs> Those noises. His head's under there on the ground. Come on. Get that mole. Get him. Get that mole. Where's he at? 